Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series number two. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Array, Excel Array Formulas 1 to 14. Hey, this trick number two, we're going to see that there are array functions. Of course, functions are formulas because there's an equal sign. But this is a built-in function. There's a bunch of them. And as we saw in the first uh, array formula, we have to use the keyboard shortcut control shift enter to tell Excel that this is an array formula or in this case we're using an array function. We want to use the transpose function. Here we have unit sold and price listed vertically like this. We want to list it horizontally. Here's how you do it. You got to count the rows, one, two, three, four, five, and that's how many columns there has to be. And then you have to count the columns, one, two, and that's how many rows there have to be. You highlight it, and in the cell up in the corner, the light colored cell equals transpose, equals transpose, and you simply highlight. Let's see if I can move that. You simply highlight the uh, range close parentheses and instead of enter if you hit enter it gives you an error it says what huh? what so I'm gonna highlight it all there F2 oh the magic keyboard shortcut to tell Excel that this is an array formula in this case an array function you hold control and shift and then enter there you go that's how to use the transpose now many of us know how to do a uh, pay special transpose but the advantage to using a uh, array function like transposes I can change this uh, price right here to 14 and sure enough it changes there I change this to 16 and it changes there I change uh, this to uh, dollar and sure enough it changes there so those are linked a way to transpose link and that is an, our first example of an array function alright see you next trick